Hello ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> my voice is a little cracked <clears throat> because last night I was at State of Origin watching the Queens M boys win uh, the Origin series. Anyway, we're here for some gaming. Now I've started the Vinland Saga arc <clears throat> in Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I wanted to start recording it based on a few things that happened that got me excited. Now I recorded my London arc reactions. It wasn't very good reactions, like I just sort of like loved it but was just sort of playing it didn't really play into it much and I didn't react to things and it just wasn't worth editing a video together but these things that have already been happening in this and I'm like oh shit like this is some interesting story stuff in terms of it connecting to the past and why we're here um, just from seeing um, the Native American tribes and Eivor's interactions with them <clears throat> and now I'm just traveling through but yeah, there's a few things that have just been happening that I'm like, that are wowing me a bit. <clears throat> so if you don't know Vinland, we're in North, um, Northeast America, where Vikings travel to. So we're hunting down Gorm, a member of the Order of the Ancients, who apparently has, and this is what, you know, made me react a lot, some sort of shiny object that was telling him where to dig for a dig site. So we're in Northeast America. My suspicion and prediction is we'll see the Grand Temple in this game. I suspect we will see the Grand Temple. And that's what Gorm's digging for. And he's got a piece of Eden. And I'm like, alright, I have to record this now. And we don't have much gear as well. So you show up to Vinland if you don't know with nothing. And there are obviously spoilers to this <laughs> if you don't realize, ladies and gentlemen. There's definitely going to be some spoilers in this. Mm, so because we have no equipment and we brought nothing with us because we've got to be in disguise. Um, we've got to trade with the Native American tribes to get gear. So right now I'm just going around getting gear and equipment. So I can trade. I'd like at least a one-handed weapon, maybe a bow, and the cloak would be great. I'm off. Alrighty. Something to put in the right hand. <clears throat> we don't have much. But it's enough. Time to do this. Almost a thousand years before Assassin's Creed 3. For Haytham or Connor. <clears throat> Here's Eivor. In America. And it's funny because those that's my least favourite. Well, actually, I'll just say my least favourite Assassin's Creed, yeah. But, um, you know, 3 is a game I don't like. But then you got Black Flag I love, and Rogue I don't really like either. But for some reason, this is such a weirdly cool concept that they're throwing this back, and if my suspicions is correct, which I think it is, that we're about to see some big Desmond Saga um, connection here. Some big Assassin's Creed 3 connection. There he is there. Okay, patience, 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 
shall call upon our ally. Holy shit, he's got an apple of Eden. Holy fuck. Once was, shall be. Oh my god, Juno. Gods burn it all. Keep digging, mules. Power beyond measure awaits. Holy Power. shit, Juno's trying to get awakened. The grand The Grand Temple is here. The Grand Temple has to be here. Where the fuck is he going? Holy shit. Holy shit. Gorm, did you find Olaf the unlucky? I did. I Got him. Alone, mate. Are the women on the winged horses. Where are the choosers of the slain? You, my blood enemy. This is Niflheim, the hell of mist and cold. This is where the faithless dead come to die again. This is where ghosts fade to mist to be forgotten. Your meddling has doomed us all, crow of battle. More lies from a liar born. Now speak the truth. What brought the order to this place? Take the piece of Eden, goddess, Eivor. A creature of power and light, buried by the Jotna in ages past. You're gonna awaken Juno early. A pity, Gordon. You will not meet her now. Have you taken the piece of Eden, Eivor? Yep, take it. Crystal eye. It hums with a strange feeling. Unearthly. What was God I'm digging for? Something deep inside this cave. Oh my god, that could be Bayek's piece of Eden. Which is Altair's piece of Eden. What was he digging for? Holy fuck, it's the Grand Temple. Can you fuck off right now? I'm kind of having a moment. Holy fuck, it's the Grand Temple. lead us here. The calculations give us hope. This... This is not for me. Holy I should shit. return to Olaf. He deserves to know what happened here. Oh my fucking god. 
Oh my god. Looks very different out there to what it does a thousand years from now. Let's get Native American Spider-Man costume. Tojedene, <laughs> Wow. Zokki Osumagu. I do not understand. Ah, you want me to tell a story? Angua gara duha se ne at nowara rau gara. Ne ne o niot ti wat. Garam brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yes, gods. Gua, ras nu sage. Oh my god, it's the orb. It's like that cricket ball dissolving orb. Oh my god, it's Connor's one. Oh my god, it's Connor's one. Each of you. All you have done. I ya want ski. Yet he sought for Gunga. Havor's the one that brought that. Wow. Wow. Great, what a great, great connection. The, the Order of the Ancients are the ones that brought that orb over. And Eivor took it and gave it to the tribe that eventually leads to Connor and those events in the Desmond Saga. Oh my god, look at that. This is the first time we're making connections to old games and setting shit up. Oh my god. This is so much better than fucking Origins and Odyssey. Oh my god. What? Great job, Darby. Great job. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. What a what a cool arc. I loved that. I had when they announced that you go to North America. There's only one reason I could think of. It's Grand Temple connection. My prediction was correct. Um, wow, is all I can say. Wow, what a cool, fun little arc that they've thrown into that game. They're already making me feel, from what I've played, connections to AC1 with the London arc and the, the way it plays, and then having the Assassins feel the way they feel. I'm still early enough in the game. I'm probably close to halfway, maybe, I don't know. But I got a lot of games still to go, so no spoilers, please, in the comments. But that arc was just another way to connect an overarching narrative to AC3, to Desmond, and this game. And I'm still this early. But that was his own little chapter and episode that connected that and made AC3 matter a bit more and made Desmond's End matter a bit more and the way it was set up and there's still plenty to go that I'm sure will connect our Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 trilogy stuff as well so there's so much still to go I uh, hope you enjoyed my reaction to that uh, and I'll see you very soon for more Valhalla content